tonight we go into a very isolated and extremely remote gorge in midwestern Queensland where we take a very unfortunate spill, nearly kill both of us. Son of a gun. Now this is a python, carpet python. I've just taken a bite. Now pythons of course can be aggressive. It's their only method of making sure that they don't get eaten by other predators. A bite's one thing, but um, they've got no fangs and they've got no venom, so I'm in no danger whatsoever. Working with animals has its moments, but luckily pythons are not poisonous, so I was in no danger. Some people think you'd have to be crazy, rescuing crocodiles and catching snakes, but the conservation of these animals is really important to me. Unfortunately though, the job puts me in constant danger, but even the most dangerous times have their lighter moments, and tonight we're going to take you into our archives and probably shock and amaze you with some of our wildest home videos. Watch out now, who's gonna get you? Gonna bite, gonna fight, gonna cut you in two. Make you sweat when it's wriggling through. With a snap and a crack of the runaway crew. In time for a close-up, go sound, camera, magic. All right, people, action. In the early days of rescuing and relocating crocodiles in the wild, Steve used to record all of his single-handed exploits with his home video camera stuck in a tree. Luckily I did because it captured one of my more painful mistakes. Steve has been living like Tarzan long before I met him. Here he's showing his unique style of catching fish. With his tail bitten off. And he certainly has improved his methods of catching Taipan since he got this on video. I don't think the wheel of a truck is actually part of their usual territory. My dog Suey helped me catch this feisty croc, aptly named Joan Collins. Out of the hundreds of crocodiles I've had to capture on my own, this is the first time that I've made such a painful mistake. Without securing the croc's jaws first, I'm climbing into a transport box to pass a rope through. The big mistake is that the crocodile's open mouth is right next to my legs under that pile of net. With no help and no way to tell where the crocodile is, it occurs to me that I might be stuck up in this box for a week. Crikey, I wish I hadn't nailed the other end of the box shut. Luckily, as the croc finally moves away, I feel the rope slide from under me and I take the chance to back out. Thank goodness she was satisfied to even the score with just that one little bite. If she kept going, she would have made it back to the river and my job would have started all over again. Thanks a lot. Got a few holes. This bite marks. put Steve out of action for a couple months. Look at that crocodile did to me, Suey. Hey, did you get that on video or what? Dealing with potentially dangerous animals like crocodiles and snakes requires tremendous concentration. You've got to be totally on the ball. Now, when a camera crew comes into the equation, you've got to worry about them as well. And that's when my concentration can be broken, even for a split second. Bang! Your history. Just like this next clip where I was caught totally off guard. And um, you can see the coloration of this guy. Come on, mate. Oh, you're not hungry. Now, this is an actual crocodile. Here. This is an actual crocodile. And when I look at this, oh, animation that you've got there. Crikey. Another couple of inches, and I reckon I would have had a squeaky voice. You're a naughty boy, Monty. I've been working with crocodiles all my life, and what I work on is they can strike so hard and fast from the water's edge that if you're within half their body length from the edge of the water, you're gonna take a hit. And you wouldn't want to take a hit of a croc this size. Once they get over 10 feet, mate, they've got around 3,000 pounds per square inch in bone-crushing jaw pressure. Have a look at this bloke. This is aggro, 15 feet, 600 kilos of sheer bone-crunching terror. And he hates me. Have a look at those teeth. Huge, great, penetrating teeth designed to capture and kill big mammals. This bloke's name, woo, Monty. And he strikes straight at the camera. I love my crocs. They're the passion of my life. And every single one of them has got an individual personality. This is Mary. 
She loves her chickens. Maintaining any of the crocodile enclosures at my home in Australia Zoo means a lot of problems. They're territorial and they mean business. Have a go at Agro. He hates it when I mow in there. He'll kill me or the mower. He doesn't care which one he gets. He's a grumpy croc. Hugely territorial. Mate, I nearly come unglued here. Trying to keep the mower up and Agro just launched, hits and he's happy enough to kill the mower and go back into the water. Never a dull moment at Australia Zoo. Nest raiding is one of the hardest things we gotta do. Mary is a doting old mum. She's over 100 years of age and she's gonna fight you. Get away from my nest. That's what she's saying. She's a good girl. With Steve and I spending so much time so close to wild animals, it's inevitable that there are always going to be close shaves and sometimes those shaves connect. This next collection is certainly not for the faint-hearted. Oh, where do you want to go from here? Um, well, we're gonna have to get it out of here, otherwise it's gonna die. Okay. Yeah, we'll hold it out from your face. Um... Oh, oh, oh crikey! That's it. I tell you what, I sure married well. My wife, Terry, she can take a good hit. We're gonna have to get it out of here, Sammy. Oh, nearly clipped her again. Oh, and again. Pythons have got needle-sharp teeth and no fangs or venom. Neither Terry nor I have ever been bitten and envenomated by a venomous snake. We take great pride in that. And as much as this King Brown tries to take me out, I'm pretty well in control. There's no way he's gonna get his fangs into my skin. He can bite my boot as much as he likes. 